Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the channel. So, as you might have gathered, we are starting a new um, series. Um, it's going to be um, Crusader Kings, and I'm going to sort of loosely base it on um, loosely base our objective on uh, one of my favourite novels, which is uh, Song for Auburn by Guy Gabriel K. And that's just to give us a little objective. So, if you've never read the book. The novel it doesn't really matter it's um it's about a, a kingdom in a sort of alternate fantasy version of europe um in southern france all about the troubadours oops, um and the court of love um so yeah we're going to uh, start by designing our own And the Count that we're going to play is um, the uh, Count of Carcassonne. Right, so so Auburn uh, was basically sort of based around this sort of area. Um, so Dutch Toulouse, Provence. Um, yeah, so, so our sort of very loose uh, objective is going to be to uh, conquer certainly um, all along the coast here. Maybe a bit too in France and see how we go. All right, first things first, then. So it's not the duchy we want, it's um, the Count of Carcassonne. So, create our own ruler. We want him to be. All right, so it's going to be Roger. Roger de Barbantay. Barbantay. So we're the ruling house of Auburn. Let's just um, randomize our coat of arms. Yeah, okay, that looks nice. Let's go with that. All right, so Roger's going to be 16 years old. I'm going to make him a grey eminence, and we are going to give him the... Herculean trait, just so we get off to a good start. We've got a decent ruler who's not going to uh, drop dead um, in his early 30s or something stupid. Hopefully not. All right, now, what, um, how many points should we put into that? Probably 10, I guess. And then, put the points into prowess. Final one into Marshall, so that gives us 400 points, and means that we can then enable Iron Man. Alright, so everything else is going to be default, uh, we can't make the difficulty any harder, so yeah, we're going to go with that. So let's begin. Okay, so first things first, Roger needs to get married. Uh, oops, don't want to be clicking that. That would be a disaster. Um, I wanted to click on uh, the filters because we want to give him a decent um, trait or inheritable trait so his children can get these. So obviously he has Herculean would be nice if we could get um, one of the beauty traits or genius wow genius would be nice so Matilda she hasn't got as high stewardship as I would have liked for a first bride but genius is too good to pass up um, so Matilda is going to be our children will have a chance of inheriting one or both of these or a lower version of which is more likely yeah all right let's send off that invite we then need to choose our lifestyle now we picked gray eminence therefore we're going to get a bonus experience to diplomacy which is so we're going to pick that and um, we want prestige to be coming in um, because we will spend that at various points and it just makes our vassals like us more. Um, so yeah, 
So we're going to go Majesty focused. We will uh, no doubt change that later on in the game. Things go well. Now let's just let a few days pass. Make sure that the marriage goes through. There we go. So the next thing you want to do is check your council. Now, when I'm starting, especially as a lowly count, I will generally set my bride to manage domain. Um, so that will help me maintain more holdings. Obviously, I've only got one holding at the moment, but I can hold up to six. Whereas without it, it's, um, it would be five. Um, but it also increases uh, the amount of money we get. Um, not by much, but um, as we develop that, will um, become more. Right, now we've got what a good bishop, haven't we? Wow, 22 learning. That's good. Um, stewardship. Yeah, it's sort of average. Um, Chancellor's terrible. Um, yeah, the rest are average. All right. Now, what I'm thinking is, ooh, we need to, we haven't got anywhere to expand really at the beginning, as to be said. So we've got a really strong um, Count of Usses here, Count Bernard, and then we have our Duke, who owns the rest. However, if we let time pass a little bit, there's a chance that one or both of them will release some of their... Um, holdings um, into other accounts. All right, so what we've got here, all right, this, this is our marriage, so we've got a choice of uh, gold or a prestige. We're definitely going to go for gold at the moment. Um, okay, and we've been invited onto the Duke's Council, which is all very good. Right now, I'm just waiting for an opportunity to come up. I could start um, oh, there's an opportunity. All right, so Fox has gone, he's not independent, but he's been released by uh, Toulouse, so he's now, uh, you know, just one of Toulouse's counts, just, just like we are. Um, he's only got 165 men, we've got 441. So we're going to start fabricating the claim on Fox. I'll take a little while. Oh, nice. Our wife has got pregnant. Oh, and Albie um, has become vacant as well. Now, ooh, do we prefer to go for Albie? I want to go for the richest one. So, Albie's 1.46 taxes. No development. That was any development in any of them. Albi is a better province. So you see the number of construction slots. It's got five. Uh, Fox has only got four. Um, seeing we've only just started, I'm going to cancel that. We're going to start getting a claim in Albi instead. And uh, let's carry on. All being well, we'll get both of them, but um, you know, let's, let's start with a better province. This is our progress ticking along here. Oh, oh no, that's sad. And premature baby. So what I can do. So the other thing you should look at: how well do your council like you? Well, not a lot. So why don't we start a sway scheme? On our bishop, get positive relations with him. I like playing on speed four most of the time. Um, can go to five, but then things can always pass a little bit too fast. I think this makes a nice um, speed for you know um, recording most of the time. What, um, what happened to my sway scheme? Where's it gone? Oh, I've got a claim. I didn't... Oh. 
that come up? I didn't pay any gold for it. All right, I missed. I must have missed an event. We must have got lucky and had a random event that gave us a claim on Albi. Um, I'm therefore going to start getting a claim on Fox. Um, so you want to check your target, make sure they haven't got any allies that you're expecting. He hasn't, therefore we're going to dive on in there and declare what? So we're going to raise all our armies. We've got good men. That is not a guaranteed win, let me tell you. Um, not when the numbers are so low. But, yeah, we have one. We have captured a few people. All right, so let's have a look. So if you capture people, it can help you war score. You can also sometimes ransom them. Unfortunately, we can't ransom either of these people. Um, however, this chat, I'm going to recruit. So what you can do is recruit them. They won't like you for doing it, but they'll get over it. Now he's available in our court. I could do the same with this chap, but his stats are so poor. It's really not worth it. All right, so what are we looking at? Five months siege left, roughly. That might increase, though. Well, not increase, reduce. <laughs> Sometimes it can, you know, it can be five month, uh, months left and then suddenly ooh, only a few days. If you get lucky. All right, there we go. All right, we captured uh, the Count's wife. So, oops. So what you want to do, rather than just make peace straight away, if you've got the hostages, See if you can get some money first. So we can get 21 gold. There we do. Now, we can enforce our demands. And we've doubled our territory. Excellent. And we've got this claim coming along. What we probably want to do is tell our marshal now to start gaining control. So, you know, we've just conquered this territory. Um, we've only got 60% um, control of it. Now. So the marshal will sort that out over the next year or so. Oh, we've got positive relations. Excellent. All right, so this is to do our sway attempt on the bishop. I think we're going to pick... Um, so what is he doing? Saying... To make the bishop more susceptible to my attempts at approaching him, I can include a compliment in my next missive. So we'll say relent... We're going to say relentless courage. Um... Let's play on his sense of honour. Oh, no. People skills for a bishop. That, that makes more sense, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, so let's go. Tell him he's got unmatched people skills. Yeah, you like that. Good. We've almost got our next claim. There we go. All right, so this is what I was expecting the first time. So we can say, yeah, we'll, we want that claim. It's going to cost us 54 gold. And guess what? We can go to war again. Which is what we're going to do. Mm. 
Yep, yeah, looks good. Got that one. Oh, even better. So we caught, we've captured the count, which gives you automatic victory. Unless you ransom him. So we could say, hey, I want 40 gold. But obviously then we would have to siege down the, the castle. So let's not do that. Let's just take the quick win. There we go. Expanded once more. And that's it for the easy targets at the moment. So, oh, but we've got a sun there, so that's nice. Uh, Mudo, okay. Oh, all babies cry, but with little Bermudo, there is no end to the tears. I desperately want the midwife to ease my worries. So, furrowed brow makes everything worse. So our air is sickly. Um, so we've had a miscarriage and now a sickly air. That's not great. Okay, so this is our first lifestyle perk. Um, and these are just sort of bonuses that your ruler gets and they reset. So when you get a new ruler, I've gone down the diplomacy tree and there are a few that I want. So I want befriend, sorry, not befriend. Benevolent intent, that's the one. So that will give my sway schemes extra power. Um, so I'll be able to make people like me a little bit easier. I also want to head down here, though, to uh, defensive negotiations, because that will give me the option of um, having an alliance with someone without having to marry them. Obviously, I haven't got any daughters to marry at the moment, so that could prove quite useful. Um, but to marry someone, I would have to build up their relations with um, Sway, so it makes sense to go Benevolent Intent first. So that's what we're going to do. Now, Ussis has got almost a thousand troops. We only have about half that. Um, yeah, so can't do anything there. All right, I hereby invite you to a feast at my court in Toulouse. Expect everyone of note to be there. All right, well, we better attend. Mm -hmm. Okay, a commoner of Anglo Saxon heritage has, a cus has been accosted in the streets of Carcassonne. So do we want to defend him or not? Um, no. Not not when uh, it's uh, versus our own culture. So now the Basque are superior moral fiber. That reminds me. So the Count of Carcassonne is actually Basque culture, but the natives are not. They're Ossetans. So what you can do is you can have your um, steward convert the locals to your own culture. Obviously I could adopt the local culture. I think this would be more interesting. Let's try and uh, change the culture of the south of France to Basque. Also I quite like some of the uh, Basque um, options specifically. They begin with uh, Visigoth code so you connect enact a uh, high partition uh, inheritance which is really good all right so the duke isn't releasing any more territory at the moment which is a bit of a shame That's interesting. So we've uh, we've got a hunting lodge. Do we want to invest any money on anything else? Go with farms for a bit of extra monthly income. Um, definitely worth building up your provinces. 
But it's also nice to have a war chest. So, uh, yeah. All right, so Bishop likes us. Let's switch to someone else. Um, see if we've got any potential allies. You're unlikely to get a duke to ally, ally with you when you're a count. It's been my experience, at least. So. You want to pick a count. I don't want to pick um, the count of horses because he's a potential target that I want to expand into. Okay, good. Sun's recovered. He's still got showing sickly there. I just need to refresh. Mm, no, no. Hmm, let's hope we have another sun then. Okay, so we've got a count here. Oh, he's 55 years old. So, let's see if you get an alliance and uh, they die. Then the alliance is, becomes null and void. I would prefer someone who's young, not this chap, but he's got hardly any men. Alright, so we're going to go what? so we can get down to defensive negotiations. He's a 55 year old. He's a count, not count, a duke. Let's let's start trying to sway this chap. He's got multiple provinces, so it's probably gonna be as good as we can get for the moment. Didn't mean to pause there. <clears throat> okay, it's come to my attention that some local commoners are moving to Tarbs. That's a count. Dora. Uh, no, I'm not going to spend. I don't like spending money on the way scheme, especially not when I've got 78% chance of success. So. Especially not when it's early in the game when I haven't got much gold. So, yeah, not going to do that. I might start. Um, a scheme though, um, get a claim in Beziers or Montpellier. I like Montpellier because it's so rich. All right, so our sickly son has unfortunately died because there's a whole bunch of stress which we might have to deal with. Um, so we've got a daughter who is our heir at the moment. Hmm, you know what? Bessiers might be richer than Montpellier. thinking because it was a city it's not actually a city though it's a barony um, okay well we are swaying it anyway so i've got to the claim i should say not going to change it now all right so we've got full control of albi let's see if we yeah we don't need to switch it to fox it's nice Okay. 
Okay, my lord, it's come to my attention that there's a rare opportunity to invest in the county of Carcassonne. Yeah, so we can get some free prestige, which wouldn't be a bad idea this early on. Control level is already max, so that's pointless. And we could get a slight bonus to development and income. But not guaranteed. Um, Seventy-five percent chance, though. So maybe it is a risk worth taking. Yeah, there we go. Here, yeah, powerful vassals expect council positions. Yeah, well, oh, oh I think we get a new bishop, and he's not a fan. Hey, my spy master, come to me with grave news. We do not know yet. Someone is plotting to kill my courtier. Okay, not interested. He's not trying to kill me or a family member. So, we've got another uh, lifestyle so we can have that alliance. And now we just need our sway scheme. Long. So we're at minus thirteen percent chat. Not percent. Minus thirteen uh, positive relations. So yeah, a couple more sways probably needed, and then we can get that alliance. Okay, so Pat, Pat Bernard is 54 years old. He's got. Oh, he's got a son. Okay. But there is a chance, especially with stewardship of five, when he dies, he's probably going to have to release one of these provinces. It's the worst thing, you know, you might just have to wait until he dies and then we'll get another chance to expand. What about. All right, so our Duke is actually quite young. Um, so he's probably not going to release any more territory unless he goes to war and captures something. All right, what have we got here? I'd like to educate your young daughter and heir. Mm, no, nah, I don't really want to do that, thanks, because you're going to change your culture. So we're going to... Uh, Graciously decline. Well, I might want to increase relations with the Duke. Because, um, he doesn't like us. Alright, so what's this? So the Duke of Gascon wants to correspond. This is quite good because it gives us a chance to get rid of some stress. some reason, politely declining, um, this Duke actually likes that. You can get free prestige um, or uh, opinion bonus with him. All right, we're going to go for the stress. Because why not? All right, so we've got a claim on Montpellier, which obviously we don't have the forces to press at the moment. Uh, what else could we do? So, Girona is part of France. Oh, it's owned directly by the Duke, though, so. No chance there. And Cummings is also owned by Duke of Armanac. 
so that's no good. Yeah, so no real opportunities at the moment. Not bothering us anyway. So we're just going to save up. Oh, what's going on here? I'm being raided. The Empire is being raided. So now our recent communicator account, Lope or Bigor. Where the heck is Bigor? So Bigor is down here. Oh, okay, so in uh, northern Spain. Uh, what do we want to do? I've heard that he appreciates feats of war. Well, he's been fighting Muslims, I imagine. So, yeah. Let's go for that. Oh, wait on Bigor. It's not um, Spain, it's our sway. <laughs> it's our sway scheme that that was for. Alright, so minus four now. Almost there. This way works. Imagine we can get in the lines. Excellent, there we go, 100%. Thanks. So we're going to propose that alliance. Bingo. Alright, now I'm going to switch away to our Duke, just in case he gets up a tea with us. Another thing that's always worth keeping an eye on when you're at a low account is whether you can get the Pope to give you a claim on the duchy. Um, and he won't. So he's got a minus 50 reluctance, which basically means we are never going to be able to get a claim on our Duke from the Pope. So I have to wait for the Duke to die one way or the other. Ooh, we can declare war on Count Bernard. Count Bernard. Oh yeah, we know we can declare war on Bernard. We just don't have the men to do it. Although we're starting to look better, so... Over time, because we've conquered these territories and they like us more, we're going to be able to have more men. We could hire mercenaries as well. Mm. So, I mean, we could even, we can even afford two mercenary bands if we really wanted. Uh, 0.7, 0.4. His main holding, which is where his riches. I really need a claim on this one, don't I? Should have done that one first. Let's carry on saving our money, get a claim on Beziers, and then we'll invade that. We'll buy some mercenaries if we need to. While we're waiting, let's just pan out a little bit, see if there's anything interesting happening. Not at the moment. So we've got three kingdoms split from the Holy Roman Empire. Really too early for anything else to have um, gone on. Alright, so our wife is pregnant again now. That's good. 
Let me have a look at our daughter. So this is our heir. Ooh, and look, wow, she inherited genius, which is pretty fantastic. Um, plus robust. So she's got a tendency for learning. If we had picked up on her sooner, we could have influenced what that was. Um, so you can check, you can set um, an education focus. You really want to set it in line with um, the childhood trait. This gives a bonus to uh, stewardship and learning. <sighs> Let's go stewardship education. And we're going to educate her. We're going to be her guard. Okay, now we've got a choice. Um, at some point we want Groom to rule so that all our children get some extra skill points. But I think it's quite nice to get down to accomplish Forger. Because um, you know, we can just fabricate the claims so much easier. Ducal Conquest, so if we want to create the Ducal title. This also gives us um, Custer's Belly as well. So, yeah, definitely useful. Carry on. Okay, so we've got a second daughter. Let's um, choose a good Basque name. Ansa. Yeah, go on. That sounds good. Little Ansa. Oh, was also inherited genius. Not quite as good a second trait, but still pretty good. Why don't we make her uh, I suppose there's a chance she may be our heir. Like stewardship early on for for potential heirs. So that's what we're gonna go with. We will educate her what have we got here. Alright, so we've got a claim. And to gold and Vesiers, so that's what we're going to go with. That does mean we could declare what? Oh no, oh, that, that's the worst thing that could have happened. He's got an alliance with the Duke himself. Yeah, can't declare war. Sorry. That would be suicidal for us to do that. In which case, what else can we do? Can we cross the pond and invade um, Corsica and Sardinia? Potentially, yes. It's, yeah, it's not our faith though. Wrong culture. Nothing would be bad about that. Reminds me. Let's change the culture in Albi. That's going to take five years. Alright, so we're just hoping for opportunity to arise now. Alright, so in our recent communication with 
Shoot the Nazis. He expressed to want to focus on his ambitions and interests. Right, so this is our swaying of the Duke of Toulouse. Oh, we've got positive relations with him now. Seem like a good book. Um, subterfuge or diplomatic matters. Um, let's go with diplomacy. Yeah, okay. Like that. Okay, what's going on here? So, our corresponding with your Chancellor has been a shameful diplomatic display. So, who is this guy? Well, okay, so account from uh, Duchy of Barcelona. An account who. doesn't have an alliance. So we could expand down here. However, that would put us bordering the Muslims. Um, do that. However, I wouldn't mind grabbing Mallorca. Um, this count doesn't appear to have a liege. Um, got six hundred forty troops. Compared to our eight hundred, which will be a pretty tough landing. Can I? Uh... All right, so I do need a plane. All right, I'm going to start fabricating. Flames on New York. I see, we haven't really got anything else to do. I don't think we need that sway attempt to carry on anymore. We've got decent relations with Duke. Um, so, what else? Let's, um, yeah, let's just cancel that. Yeah, it's looking, looking like quite a tough start for us. I was hoping for more opportunities earlier. Saraf. It's not looking good for Navarre, is it? I think they've lost that war. Only one for the county of Alto Aragon. Alright, force Vasilid. We may as well go with embassies, seeing we've got an alliance. I guess it's an extra uh, point of diplomacy. Alright, yeah, he lost. Asturias isn't doing too great either.
Once these two remain independent though, we should be able to nab them. Especially with our gold reserves. So let's keep track of you. Because we need to sniff it. Hopefully we can do something. Okay, good. Give me a sun. Sun with the genius trait. And the Hercules trait. Okay. <laughs> it's not too much to ask, is it? Alright, so we've still got a bit of stress. So we'll get rid of most of it. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going with. Oh, another uh, miscarriage. There's our wife. She's 35, so yeah, I'm not going to have many more, if any, children. Alright, so when these pop up, these social manipulations, I generally just go with the top option. If you were trying to um, create a character with drive, then maybe you would take the bottom option. Um, May as well stop making him like us a bit more. Hey, so we've got our claim on Mallorca. Let's start working on Menorca. I declare war. So he's got no allies. We've got an ally we can bring in. So let's do that. Costs us a little bit of prestige. I think it's probably worth it. So hopefully our ally will come along. Yep, there we go. He's accepted. So if he could join us, I think that's will give us enough men without having to buy some mercenaries. Someone's trying to kill our chancellor. I'm not. Oh god, that is a terrible chancellor. Surely I've got someone better than that. Not much better, but a little bit better. Have we got a better steward? No. Spy master. Oh, yes. Oh, well. 23. Let's recruit him. 40 gold. Um, yeah, go on then. Okay, so we've got a really good spy master. Could promote to so that little icon there, powerful vassal, but also um, current marshal is a powerful vassal. Mm. Oh, you are uh, better. 
And then, always worth forbidding your council, especially for the good. I mean, knights. Because knights die very easily. Uh, people you hate, though, by all means, make them knights. And if they're crap and you want them to die, then by all means, make them knights. Out to sea. It costs us a little bit of gold. Yeah, he's joining us. Excellent. So we're going to head down here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, you're going to Ibiza. I'm going to land here. Hopefully you'll get the idea that you should land here as well. Okay. Well, the train is planes. I've got 200 horses. What's he got? He's got 200 horses, some archers, four knights, two or three knights. Hmm. So his army is slightly better than ours. But we outnumber him. Okay, so near... okay, she's our heir. Having an ambitious heir is good. Having an ambitious not an heir can be bad. Well, I don't want her to be sadistic and paranoid, so yeah, you can keep the ambitious trait. Uh, what's our commander like? Yeah. Oh, we've underpaid. Let's go. Oh, we'll just carry on filling out the tree. I'm going to wait for him to uh, capture. Ibiza, then he'll come over here, hopefully help us defeat this army. And we'll be away. There we go, good. Come on, come on. Leave it. Now let's just stand there, come on. Alright, I'm not going to have to go for it. Apparently. All right. 50-50 battle. Oh, we're winning. Excellent. And now he's finally starting to move. Not too late. Oh, he's going home. Hey, come on. I've got a siege to do. Okay, so heresy in Upper Burgundy. I couldn't care less. All right, he's, he's landing now. A bit late. A bit late, my lad. Oh, man, siege. That's going to be over. The one before that. Okay, so... Use my skill in tactics and strategy is serving me well. It occurs to me that this knowledge may be of use to you. Yeah, okay. Got a chance to get some martial skills straight away, or we get lessons. Oh, look at that! Plus two martial skill, fantastic. All right, so these guys are coming back. Not too late. Oh, our wife got pregnant again. And these guys are just staying off the coast because they know it will be suicide to land. All right, so we have a dilemma, loyalty or fear. As their count, my vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law. But how much is it, how much is obedience without devotion worth? Well, 
I think that we are definitely, our account is definitely um, very for white. Okay, we've finished our cultural conversion, so let's switch over to Fox. This must be over. Come on. There we go. All right. 99%. All we have to do is wait. As long as when these guys land, yeah, we hit 100%. Because the longer you hold the objective, then this is the war school. Did we get any prisoners? No, I think this is... I think this is the guy we've had for a long time. I can ransom him. Do nothing. Oh, we get a hook on. Whatever, let's clear out the dungeon. And we're going to enforce... Demands, there we go. So I want me the Norka as well. Yeah, we want, yeah, we want all three of these because they're part of the same duchy. Oh, that would be pretty good if we could. Yeah, if I can get one of them, I should be able to assert the duchy. If we do it before our duke. Okay, I need to increase control that in the orca, so let's start doing that. Okay, another daughter. This is not good. Could make our next um, rule rather interesting. Okay, so Zemir gets humble. I'm fine with humble. All right, so we've got a claim on Menorca. I think it makes sense to move our rally point to Menorca and... All right, he's got an alliance. All right, so he's, uh, he's still not going to... Is he gonna have more than us? It's gonna be very similar. But we should be able to land and take this. Or his ally turns up. Let's find out if we can do that. Okay, that was the important one. We needed to win that for uh, his, his ally appeared. Go for force. Force. Flexible truces. Mm, yeah, we'll, we'll take that. All right, so this is the ally. But he's at a big disadvantage um, because we 
already own it. Uh, we'd already landed. So I think we've pretty much got this. Mercy Hired Mercenaries or something like that. I don't think we've got time to do that now. And it's coming back for round two. Bye bye. There we go. Alright, so we've captured quite a few people by the looks of it. Who can we get money for? So we've got 10 gold. Okay, let's check that. Okay. May as well hire these. Get him to convert at the same time. Although you're not very good. I'll take you anyway. Okay, so we've enforced demands. We now can I so one the Dutch sheet. Oh, so I can't. Must be saying more higher tier than the primary title of your leash. Oh that should be fine. Oh no, it's because it's the same or higher. So you can't get independence by creating or usurping a title. Okay, that's a shame. Yeah, well that might have put us in conflict with the Muslims, but so be it. I guess I've got truce with this guy. I do indeed. Let's stop claiming though if there anyway. So we can complete the set. Okay, poet has come before me to recite a composition from the pleasures of life, dedicated to the amicable Count Roger. While the gift was anonymous, Countess Matilda has gone to great lengths to make sure that I would figure out that she was behind it. It's nice. Mm, don't really need to do that spy scheme anymore, do we? Duke still likes us. Our ally still likes us. Alright, it looks like it would be a tedious evening once the feast entertainment was over. But Countess Matilda saved the day by suggesting a reading from Nibelungalib. Something like that. She's clearly trying to seduce us. Okay, my wife, Countess Matilda, has made her way into my life with sweet words and sweeter touches. But at night, I struggle to keep her off my mind. I want to dwell forever in the inferno. Okay. Um, this is a romance that will burn bright but short. No, I think. Definitely want to go with that. 
a chance she might get pregnant again as well, which would be good. Okay, well, we've been going for uh, just over an hour for this episode, so it's probably a good place to start. Get rid of the last 10 fatigue. Um, not fatigue, um, stress. But we could also use the extra f prestige. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to go with prestige this time. All right, let's end this um, scheme. We don't need to do that anymore. Everyone in court likes us, or on the council at least. Um, so yeah, so we're going to uh, we're going to end the episode here. We um, didn't go the way I expected it to. I have to admit, I was not planning to expand. Um, down into uh, the island of Mallorca. Um, I was hoping uh, to expand against Usses, but um, with him allied to our Duke, there was just no chance of that ever happening. So yeah, we're just going to have to be patient and uh, see if we can um, have any opportunities next episode. Anyway, that's where we're going to end. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.